So uh, we've looked at factors that uh, uh, are leading uh, or uh, factors that have led enterprises to endorse APIs and what exactly uh, a web API is. And now here is uh, a quick rigorous definition of uh, what a web API ends up uh, being. It virtually ends up being the face of your enterprise to the external world. It's the public persona of your enterprise. Your web APIs today define how the external world looks at your enterprise. And the APIs have to be simple and easy. Uh, we saw why. Uh, you know, because of uh, the community of innovative developers that we have to take advantage of so that the business is able to reach new frontiers and uh, there is a broader base consumption of your assets than what you're doing today. So what can be exposed as Web API? Well, uh, anything that is uh, relevant to business in the sense any asset that you have which has the potential of uh, bringing revenue value to your business, you can consider exposing it as an API. So your product catalogs, your phone listings, insurance cases in the case of uh, the insurance, in, insurance in, industry, a whole bunch of APIs around order management. Uh, you know, a very obvious thing is the order status and you know, bank loan rates, for example, things like that. So those are the things that one could consider exposing as APIs. So the importance of APIs, we've seen already that uh, they are important for an enterprise to uh, to march in the current times that we are seeing. Uh, not having an API today is like not having a website in the 90s because the world has graduated from uh, interacting with enterprises over a brick and mortar store to the world of APIs today. So APIs are the new and fast growing business channel today and enterprises have to pay serious attention to this. So here are some outstanding examples of uh, how enterprises have made best use of APIs. Uh, you have eBay which, which has made $7 billion worth business via its APIs, via channels that exploit its uh, APIs. And you have the other example of Twitter. Uh, which sees 10 times more traffic than what it sees over its interactive website. And there's a whole lot of others as well. So uh, a couple of other examples uh, that we see is the case of Procter & Gamble. Uh, this is an example of how an application can actually take your business forward. So Procter & Gamble built an application that can help people locate public toilets. Right? And through that application, they actually promoted their Charmin brand. Right? So that's an example of, of how you can innovate and use an application uh, which is uh, not outside the normal stream of things that you would otherwise do in, a, do in your enterprise. So you use an application of this, this kind to actually penetrate and push your brand further into uh, the external world. So that's an example that's coming from what Procter & Gamble did. The other is um, what Elo Pages did. You know, they used to drop uh, these fat Elo directories that are those steps and then they went to the internet after a certain point in time. And after that, they exposed uh, their information, their directory listings and uh, advertising, advertisers information and things like that as APIs. And suddenly, they had very interesting third-party applications that started to exploit their APIs and bring uh, value to them, right? So applications that are totally unrelated to LO pages, they started to use uh, the LO pages information effectively and, and they brought in a lot more value today. So the uh, trend grows on and um, we have a whole uh, bunch of industries today that are aligning themselves, bracing themselves to uh, the world of web APIs uh, and you have um, uh, you know, uh, things happening very rapidly in the retail and banking sectors, insurance, transportation. Uh, uh, in fact, there is a very nice example that we came across uh, sometime back where a bank was actually struggling to get a certain capability of its, um, uh, of its business across to a bunch of uh, customers over the mobile phone, right? So it was having difficulty with the kind of app that needs to be put up on the mobile phone. What it did finally was uh, it exposed a bunch of APIs around 
this core capability that it had and invited uh, developers over a context to develop apps around these APIs. They suddenly had a whole bunch of very uh, interesting apps that uh, were created in a lot short time and uh, they could get to what they wanted to you know, very quickly and in a very cost effective manner. So that's the kind of power that APIs can bring to your business. So uh, a further summary of how the growth of APIs uh, are faring uh, in the market. So uh, it's always showed an inclining trend and that in inclining trend is uh, only going further steep as we see in the last couple of years and it's going to continue so in the upcoming years as well. So we've 